Factsverse presents… Since the age of five, Hannah got up at 6 a.m. to cook every day, and the reason why will break your heart. Well, before we break your hearts, how about you warm our heart by clicking that like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. There is a little Japanese girl who, since the age of five, has been waking up every single morning at 6 a.m. to make soup. Now That sounds kind of strange. Since the age of five, she wakes up at 6 a.m. to cook? What five-year-old does that? Well, the reason behind this has left millions of people heartbroken, and it might do the same to you. Not only does this little girl make breakfast, she also helps with all the household chores as soon as she gets home from school. She hangs the laundry. She cleans the bathroom. She does everything that needs to be done around the house at the age of five. This little girl's name is Hannah Yusataki, and she can do plenty of things that most five-year-olds can't. The reason that she does all these things happily is due to a promise that she made to her mother. This little girl's story is so touching that her story was actually turned into a film called Hannah's Miso Soup. In 2000, before Hannah was born, her mother Chai was diagnosed with breast cancer. She was only 25 years old. Hannah's father, Shingo Yusutake, was in love with Chai and wanted to marry her regardless of her diagnosis. Fortunately, Chai beat the cancer, and soon she became pregnant. The doctors told her that her cancer could return at any time, but that did not stop her from wanting to have kids. She believed that she was destined to meet her unborn daughter. Hannah was born in February 2003, and her whole family was filled with joy when she was born. Sadly, when Hannah was only nine months old, her mother's cancer returned. Shai understood that she did not have an entire life to spend with her daughter, so she had to think about what she wanted the most for her. Although her mother was terminally ill, she decided to teach Hannah to cook and care for the home so that she could live a good life on her own. In her blog, Chai wrote, I hope my daughter will stay strong and live life tenaciously. On Hannah's fourth birthday, her mother gave her an apron. Within a year, she had taught Hannah to cook brown rice, fermented soybeans, and miso soup. Chai continued writing in her blog. In one of the entries, she wrote, Whether I have cancer or not, I'm supposed to die first. This is why I have to die without any regrets. Eventually, the cancer had spread to Chai's liver and lungs. On July 11, 2008, Chai passed away. She was only 33 years old. Shortly after Chai passed, Hannah woke up early in the morning, and when her father woke up, he saw that Hannah was making miso soup. According to Shingo, it tasted just like the soup that Chai used to make. And that wasn't all. Hannah would get home from school and care for the house the same way that her mother did. Soon, Shingo was able to bounce back from his grief thanks to his daughter Hannah. In 2012, Hannah and Shingo worked together to compile all of Chi's blog entries and turned it into a book called Hannah-chan no Miso Shiru, which translates to Hannah's Miso Soup. In the book, Hannah's father wanted to add an entry for Chai, and it read, What I have to be most grateful for you is giving birth to Hannah. You risked your life to do it. Shingo wasn't the only one who added an entry for Chai in the book. Hannah decided to do one as well, and her entry read, I want to tell you something. I can make a whole bento now. Aren't you surprised? I don't cry anymore. I'm doing my best. This story is proof that the bond between a mother and daughter is so strong that it continues even after death. Today, Hannah is 15 years old, she gets great grades in school, has many friends, and still she has time to get up every morning, 6 a.m., cook breakfast, clean the house, do the laundry. Hannah says she doesn't mind doing all the work, though. It was her mother's last wish, and Hannah believes that it is her destiny to do it. The story was so amazing that it was turned into a film, and Hannah says that it makes her happy for people all over the world to see that she's honoring her mother's wishes and fulfilling her destiny. Subscribe for more!